The question is extreme widening of the periodontal ligament as seen in the radiograph is a characteristic feature of. So, what we see over here is this is your tooth. Usually, if this is your tooth, the PDL space is only so much. Okay, this is the PDL space. So, in this situation, this is the tooth and the PDL is wider. So, sometimes it goes up to even 10 times. And this is seen in a lot of conditions. So, let's see which all are the possible conditions in which you can have a widening of the PDL ligament space. The answer over here is scleroderma. So, systemic scleroderma is basically a disease of the skin. It has and usually has its onset in the middle age and is more common in females than in males. There is thickening and induration of the skin called by dermal fibrosis. Okay. This is an important point. Mask like facial appearance. This is important. This is also seen in Bell's palsy. Okay. Ulceration develop. And one more important point about scleroderma is mouse facies. And in patients with scleroderma, there is uh, erosion of the angle of the mandible on radiographs. Hypopigmentation and hyper may occur. Fibrosis is not confined to the skin but may involve internal organs. The most common manifestation of scleroderma is an increase in the width of the periodontal ligament spaces. This is the fourth most important point. This increase in width is also seen in uh, osteosarcoma. And chondrosarcoma. Okay. At least twice as thick as normal and both in the anterior and posterior teeth are affected. The lamina dura remains normal. Okay. In Paget's disease of bone, there is generalized hypersemintosis. And in such patients, since there is generalized hypersemintosis, there is decrease in the PDL space. Okay.